Welcome back to Kate Cooks. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit weird. I want to make a literal pizza pie. I mean, you all know the phrase pizza pie, which I believe comes from Italy. I want to make a literal pizza pie. Now, when I was thinking about this, I thought if I use pizza dough, it's just going to taste like a calzone, really. So we're going to actually use short crust pastry. So we are making a literal pizza pie. Short crust pastry, we have some mozzarella cheese, some pepperoni and salami and chorizo and some more mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce. Well, pizza sauce, the recipe I use all the time. To make this with, I'm going to use a little gadget I bought a while ago. I actually came across this gadget on a, another YouTuber did it. He's called Barry Lewis. I don't know if any of you are familiar with him, but he does um, quite a lot of gadget reviews and he reviewed this pie maker which, I mean, you've all seen these, you get waffle makers and all stuff like this. I've never seen a pie maker like it. And it comes with this ring, so that's your bottom. You cut that, put that in there, then you cut the top, the other side, put that on the top, close it down, give it 20 minutes, and it cooks you a pie. Nice crispy base, you don't get no soggy bottoms with this. So we're going to give this a try today. I mean, I do sometimes make pies in this, or I sometimes make them in the oven the normal way. We're going to give this a go today. So for this... I've got some ready rolled short crust pastry. I'm not messing around making pastry. I really can't be bothered, especially when it's, I mean, if how cheap this is in the shops to buy like this and the amount of time it saves you, there's just no point. Oh, I don't think there is anyway. So we're gonna use this. So we're gonna get this cut. We're gonna get this in the pie maker. We're gonna get all our fillings in there. Then we're gonna get this made. So the first thing we do is we take our base cutter and just cut this out, make sure it's centered. Press that down. Take away the excess. Then we take our bottom and put that in. Get that placed in there. The first thing we're going to put in here is some slices of mozzarella. I'm just gonna put these along the bottom. This is just so that when we put the sauce in, it doesn't soak straight through into the pastry. So we're gonna do that. I have got some of my pizza sauce here. This is the same recipe I always use. Okay, so then we're gonna spoon some of this on top of the cheese. Then we've got some salami. A few pieces of chorizo. Now add a little bit of grated mozzarella into here. And we'll add some slices of pepperoni. You get plenty in here, I want loads of pepperoni in this. Add a tiny little bit more pizza sauce. And then one final helping of the mozzarella. So then we take a cutter for the top of the pie. Press that down. Take away the excess. Bring our top back. And just lightly crimp these together. Just get the excess so it's all together here. Get it into the groove. Just prick a few holes in this just for the steam. Then simply just put the lid down. Click it into place. Turn it on. Then we leave that now for about 25 minutes. Okay, so this should be about finished. So let's get it out. Awesome. It's all gone wrong, everybody. There you go, like sort of collapsed on itself as I was getting it out. Bit heavy, I think. Yeah, you know what? I've used this pie maker about 20 times and never once had that happen. <laughs> but it's still a pie, I guess. We'll make do. I mean, we're going to cut into it anyway, aren't we? So I suppose it doesn't matter too much. It smells like pepperoni pizza. Let's give it a cut. Let's 
Oh, I've got to look at all that cheese <laughs> oozing out of there. No wonder it collapsed. It's incredibly wet. I mean, the bottom, it's quite dry feeling it, but oh God, everything's just oozing out. I'm going to get this cut up and get it cut into a slice that I can actually try, then we'll come back. <laughs> just lift that up a little bit, look. Seems as it's breaking apart anyway, look. And, I mean, it looks like a really weird pizza inside there. I suppose what we've actually made is like a really weird pizza pocket. I think pizza pockets are um, pastry. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit before I taste it. It does look a bit messy, doesn't it? I mean, I'm hoping it's going to taste pretty good, but it doesn't look amazing. <laughs> right, looks like it's cooled down a little bit now. Let the kids eat the rest of this experimental pie. And kids will eat anything, won't they? So. That's really weird. Tastes like a calzone, but obviously it's pie pastry, which I actually quite like it. Still a little bit hot, but actually that's actually quite good. Obviously the inside was a bit heavy from all the cheese, and that's why it collapsed a bit. I mean, I could have used something else really to get it out and it wouldn't have done that. But I mean, is it a pizza pie? It's pepperoni, pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese in a pie, so it's sort of like the toppings of a pizza, isn't it? All inside a pie, so it's a pizza pie. I'll tell you what, it's actually really good. It just goes really well with the pastry. I mean, now I'm curious as to what other pizza toppings you could put in a pie. And obviously, pepperoni is a classic, so that's why I've gone with pepperoni today. So this is actually really good. The pastry just really makes it, having shortcut pastry on it. Like I say, if you'd have done it with pizza dough, It would have essentially just been a cow's own. See, I'd be tempted to revisit this and do a sort of Chicago deep pan style pizza, but with short crust pastry. To leave, don't put a top on it basically, but use, instead of pizza dough, use actual short crust pastry again. I am going to make a Chicago deep pan style pizza in the future. It's a different type of dough, so I'm going to get out a go. Then we might do an actual pie style one alongside it maybe on the same video with this pastry just to see what it's like so i don't think it's worthy of another video but i think we might do that on that video yeah i'll tell you what if you like pies and you like pizza <laughs> make a pizza pie because i'll tell you what it's pretty good which is where i would say i'm going to go and eat this but i bet it all so i guess i'll just catch you next time Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Wednesday. Jelly bean and sausage pizzas. Strawberry surprise pizza with anchovy sauce. Peanut butter and clams. Anchovies and bananas.